Now this is a very beautiful stone. I think it's some kind of Picasso Jasper with green dye added, but um, look at the patterns in that. That is very, very, very nice. Whoa, I like that side even better. Um, it does have a hole drilled through it. Technically, it's barely a hole. What they do is on flat pieces like this, it's it's hard to get a bit that's going to go all the way through to the end and not mess up, come out one side. So what they do is they drill one side halfway and then they drill the other side halfway. And they have these special machineries. People say, how do you drill your stones? I don't drill my stones. We're talking thousands of dollars worth of precise equipment and and hours of expertise to get it just right when really the difference in, in price between a stone with a hole and a stone without a hole is almost, sometimes there's no difference at all. So I let the experts do that. Not saying you shouldn't drill a hole in a stone you have, like do any kind of art that you know you wanna try out. If I were to drill a hole, however, though, I would go straight through the easy part. This is kinda cool when you can get it straight through the entire stone. But anyway, so you didn't have to know all that, but that's kind of interesting maybe for someone or maybe not. Um, what happens is sometimes when they go through this way and when they go through this way, they don't line up the holes perfectly. So you get your wire coming through and halfway through it gets stuck. So in this case, we have a nice sizable hole that could probably fit 18 gauge, but by the time we get halfway through, it can barely fit 24. So 24 is what I figured out will eke through. 24 is very thin. I don't like to wrap a stone of this significance in just 24. Now, if I ignore the hole, I could do a cool wrapping around it, but I want to try to use the hole and see if I can come up with something really pretty with incredibly thin gauge. Maybe I'll have to double it or quadruple it. Who knows? So I'm going to take a lot of it. This is bright copper. It's um, non-tarnished, meaning it has like a clear coat, but it's just regular copper before being tarnished. Nice and bright. And beautiful, I say beautiful. And we're gonna take like, hmm, I don't know, four feet, one and a third meters, and we put it in there and get it, wiggle it, wiggle it up, oh, and it's coming through, yay! It made it through the night. Okay, so bring it to the middle. Where's the middle? You gotta bring it round. Let's see until we get both ends. Ah, oh, that's past the middle. Look at me. What am I doing? Okay. That's pretty close to the middle. All right. And ugh, stuff is so bouncy. Okay, close enough. So I'm going to crimp, crimp. And normally what I do is I make a loop at the top now. So um, let's go ahead and do that. But that's going to be a very flimsy loop, a loop that could get distorted with just the tiniest pull, especially with a very heavy stone like this. So I'm going to have to find a way to reinforce it. Um, I don't have that way in mind. I'm just going in this blindly. So you guys are going to learn with me, which is the best. Because then when I totally mess it up, you can just be like, I knew it wasn't going to work. I'm so smart. And you can armchair quarterback the whole thing. So let's do this. So I folded this part over. I, I, uh, I wrapped it around itself once to get this nice and secure. Now I'm folding these over and I'm going to make my signature little swirl towards the bottom corner. That's what I like to do. It's just a, such a pretty way to have the bottom of the stone be. Sorry, I just jumped, hit the camera. But you, it's so easy. You just cross any two wires and then you just have them start chasing each other around and around. And you can make it really tight or you can make it open-ended with, you know, depending on how tight you pull it as you're coming around. But you just do like one side and then the next and then the next and then the next. And you can go around as many times as you want. You can make your swirl as big or small as you want. Um, <clears throat> and then eventually I come out of the swirl kind of like this. I like to do that. Let's see if you can see it better. I, I like to come out like this and then fold it over the stone and then maybe come out the other side. And sometimes that's it. And I'll just fold the two strands up to the top, scarf it, and I'm done. But... Like I said, this is very, very thin wire, and I want to do something more decorative. I don't want I don't want to totally cover the pretty pattern of the stone, but I want to do something interesting. So I'm going to bring these together, and I'm going to do some 
a little bit of zigzaggy, squirmy, wormy. Um, just fun amoeba arm patterns, right? Okay, that was kind of fun. And it kind of mimics the, sh the, the design on the stone too. So um, I'm feeling good so far. I think I am going to fold it over the back. I'm going to be careful. I don't want the wires to roll over each other. I want them to stay side by side just like this. And I think I'll have them come out the other side. And you know what? I'm not going to do anything revolutionary. I really like this fun pattern. And it, I really like how it just goes along with the natural curviness of the, the stone formation. So I'm just going to do some more of this. Let's get a little bit, a little bit wild. This is fun because every single time you do it, it comes out a little different. And just like every stone is different. You can write a, write a song about the stones. Every stone is special. Every stone is new. Just like me and you, baby. Something, something true. Because that's what all songwriters rhyme with. New and true and don't be blue. How about you? Let's go to the zoo. It's pretty much all love songs have a trip to the zoo somewhere. Somewhere in there. You know that. I didn't need to tell you that. You knew that. So I'm just pressing it. I'm pressing. If you've seen all these videos, I do this in so many videos. I promise I'm going to learn new tricks. But for now, I'm just pressing flat against the stone as I... Wiggle it back and forth. And I'm overshooting. If I want to swirl, I, I mean, if I want to loop, I go twice as far in bending the loop because it springs back quite a bit. So, and sometimes when I'm bending it the other way, it'll undo it. So I overdo it, overdo it. And, and that way I get these really fun, swirly, craziness thingies. Um... And I think we're done. Let's not get so carried away that, like, we do start covering up the natural design of the stone, right? So one more. One more little loop. Make me feel good. And, and we'll, we'll end it. Now, I'm going to scarf this once. And I'm going to try something. I just thought of this. And let's see if it works. I feel like it'll work. Um... Like I said, this is very flimsy as a single loop. So we're going to strengthen it right now. We went around it once. Now we're going to follow the pattern of this. And that's going to triple it and make it much stronger. But we got to, let's see, we'll come in the back like that. Right? Holding it together. So it stays. Okay. Checking it out, it's good. Still holding it together, making sure one, one or two of the loops aren't way bigger than the others. Okay, now start scarfing it again. We'll go once. Now, we have to remember this little guy hanging out right here is snaggable. So if he's just loose, look at that. Like you, you rub it on your shirt a few times, you go to hug someone and that thing gets knocked off and then all of these come loose. And then it's just a big mess of spider copper arms all over the place. Like just, you know, and then people start shrieking and running for the exits because it's so scary looking. Um, so what we're going to do, we're just going to take one of these right here. Uh, first, let's give this guy, this is the first time I'm touching the flyers too. How about that? I know that because I'm trying to figure out where I put them now. So I'm going to give these guys a little turnip. I call it a turnip. I just made that up just now. A little turn up, like a little, a crimp and a crimp, make a little mountain peak like that. Just a tiny bit. We don't want to disturb this cool design by pulling, stretching it out of shape. So just a little tiny, just like that. And that gives us something to grab onto, make it a little more defined, little more defined. And then now we can take one of these strands and just Come right up under here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me underneath. Thank you. 
if it if it if it's so tight it gets stuck, you can take your fingernail and kind of lift it a little bit for a sec. But we're gonna just thread this one guy right down in there, get him to catch right in the little widow's peak, the little mountain peak, the little what did I call it? I don't even remember. I just coined a phrase for it now. I forgot already. Um, but whatever that little crampy thing is. Now we're going to try to pull it a little tighter. The pliers. I'm, I'm holding it here and here because I don't want it to get yanked out of whack. But I do want this part to be tighter. It's a lot of wire wrapping, at least the way I do it, is taking full advantage of all ten fingers. Like holding this, holding this, holding that, holding that. Like... It's like you have a million different clamps that you can position in any one given place and then you put pressure everywhere and then then you move only one wire without everything else moving um, and the, the more you wire wrap the more you'll just naturally get good at that and uh, if that's not the right way to do it then I just taught you a wrong way so let me know if I taught you know I'm gonna go around him twice just to make sure he's really secure. Yes, how do you know if that wire is a he? Well, I'll tell you how I know, because he told me. Okay, so I'm not gonna question. When the wire speaks to you, you listen. And that wire was like, Hello, my name is Henry. I am a boy wire. All right. No, it's a much more secure. It's not crazy tight, but we can we can f fix that some more in a minute. Right now, let's. Ooh, I want to play on the back. Let's make designs on the back. Nah, let's 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 stick to this and get this finished. Let's ask ourselves: Are there any other really really egregiously loose areas? And you know this this guy's kind of wobbly, and this is wobbly too. Yes, granted, if you like punch it or if you grab it and pull on it you're gonna it's gonna all come undone so it's not the most stable but it's way more stable than it was a second ago so i feel like this one is really right here that's that's really snaggable too i mean a wisp of hair could just get caught in there and yank that out so since we still have some wire to play with and since that's an open corner that really has nothing else going on and this wire just happens to be right here. Let's just put him right through, right? Excuse me. There you go. Just gently put him through like that. And look, it actually adds to the design. It definitely doesn't take away from it. It kind of mirrors this one single strand, that single strand. See that you always look not just for stability. You got to get stability first or the stone will fall apart. But... As soon as you get stability, always be looking for beauty and elegance at the same time. Now, if you're watching this, you're probably an artist and you probably know that already. But maybe it's nice to hear it articulated, what you've always known in your soul to be true. Anyway, let's see where are we, what are we doing now? We got, oh, so he's, oh, okay, I thought he was already attached. All right, so he's right here. We got to secure him somehow. I think we're going to just... Twist him up with the other wire like that. Now these two are together. We secure. This feels strong already. Right. This one's moving. Don't like that. Can I put one more wire through without making this pretty pattern look too too busy and too messy? Let's find out. These two are now together. If we fold them down, can we get a wire up through there? Well, this one is facing the right way. It's best if you have the wire already moving in that direction. If you have to move a wire in a different direction, there's always a chance it could get kinked. I think I'm just going to put it right through there and see what happens. Let's just see what happens in a world full of wire. I, I really think I should leave this, this whole um, making jewelry on video and just join the opera. What do you guys think? I think I'm ready. I've been practicing on a lot of videos and I think I think it's it's time. But um you know, I'd miss you guys. Maybe I'll just start a second channel opera, an opera channel. Opera and wire together. 
Well, it's a good thing we didn't try to make the back beautiful because now it's looking like a stringy mess. Not too terrible. Looks kind of like a butterfly wing got mangled a little bit. But this is all moving around. Let's let's finish this up. I think that's, yeah, that's a little stronger. What is it? Oh, you know what? Uh, no, I'm going to be honest with you. That did almost nothing. I was meant to hook it right there and then it slid all the way down. As I was talking about opera, I totally forgot what I was doing. So this guy is, eh, he's still a tiny bit flimsy, but you know what? People sell stuff all the time that's way less secure. This this guy's going to be fine. Um, let me just think if there's one more. Yeah, if I were to loop, hook it in there, I'd, I'd have to... Ooh, that would be good because that would go right up along that one. All right, let's try. Let's give it another shot. We still have more wire to play with. Okay, this time we're going to do it right. To do it, 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 to do it right. Pow! Boop, 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 boop. Boo 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 boo. Oops, I don't want to go through. I gotta stop getting excited about the song because I I like keep forgetting what I'm doing. All right, we want this this one to mirror this one. We want them to come up together like they're two arms flowing together in one movement. Ooh, I think we did it. Looks like we made it. Oh yeah, look at that. That's that's a, a pretty it looks like we meant to do that. Look at that. How right? Alright, before I get too excited, let me get get it secure and tight. Again, I'm gonna have to secure it by twisting it up with this guy. This this is literally I don't even know how many pat new patterns I just invented for myself that I've never tried before, but this is what happens when you have fun. And when you have fun and it works, you have to sing the song. Looks like we made it. We've been traveling down the road. Do, 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 do. Now we're going to finally scarf it. This is the face and we end it by scarfing it. That's the signature move of this particular style that I made up, I think, or somebody did and I stole it. Who knows? So let's start wrapping it around very gently, but... In victory. Looks like we made it. Looks like we made it. Oh, got a little too fancy there with the with the notes. Yes. It's looking pretty, right? Looking kind of pretty. How many times should we go around? One more? One more? One more. That's it. Don't get too greedy. If you go, if you get the scarf up too high, it looks like you're putting it over his face and he can't breathe. So, right here, everything's tight. One last chance to check. Again, it's not it's 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 a not the most strong wrap ever, but it's definitely a very pretty and it's fairly secure for how thin the wire is. Um I'm tucking these last strands into the bowl created by the scarf. That's what we do. And now we just make sure he's facing forward. Make sure everything is good and we'll just give that a little pinchy pinch. Try to get those loops together. Uh, they're not going to go together. It's going to look like a sunrise, like a rainbow. That's okay. And hopefully it's not too busy. Kind of pretty. Kind of pretty. Yeah, that one keeps sticking out. It's bothering me. Get down there. Okay. Now you can put a dab of E6000 right in there to make sure these guys never come undone, but I shoved them in pretty tight, like, uh, plus I don't have E6000 on me. I left it in a different city. Ooh, I really like how that swirl came out. Look at that swirl. That's like a good one. Sometimes, you know, you feel like, eh, I messed that up. And the non-artist people are like, but it looks amazing and makes you feel really good. But sometimes you look at your own work and you're just like, I love how I did that. I'm loving it. Do, 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 do. Okay, um, so I said we can tighten this up in the back. We can do some little crimpy crimps. We don't want to go too crazy because if you crimp too much, you'll start yanking out the designs from this side. But um, And sometimes crimps don't do anything because the more you crimp it, the more it just keeps pulling more wire and pulling more wire. But sometimes crimps are amazing. And I'm just checking if there's any more I can do that'll help a little bit. 
Maybe. Maybe, maybe. That feels a little tighter. I think we're good. Uh, let's, 20 minutes in. I don't know if I have anyone to wear it this time, but this is for you guys. This greenish, minty green stone with the copper wrap. So, oh, I don't have any cord or chain or anything with me. I'm kind of in a different city with, without most of my supplies. I just brought this little kit with a couple stones and a couple spools of wire and a couple tools. So, once again, this is an art you can do sitting at Starbucks at a table. This is a beautiful art because it takes no water or heat or chemicals or anything that makes it dangerous. You can just do it while you sip your coffee in front of people. And as long as you don't shoot any wire in their direction, it's pretty safe. Um, and then you can sell it right to the person sipping coffee at the table next to you. Well, anyway, you guys have a wonderful evening. And again, I apologize. I do not have someone to try it on or a chain or even jump rings to match. But you'll just have to imagine that part. And... Take it away, whoever sings these songs I'm copying. Looks like we made it. Looks like we made it.